everyone this is tejashri here today we are going to see third special case of assignment problem that is maximization problem okay uh, let's get started with the example then we'll come to know what it is exactly so this is the example given to us in which five operators are given 1 2 3 4 5 and four machines are given a b c d and these numbers are indicating number of chocolates so which means that operator 1 can produce seven chocolates on machine c operator 2 can produce nine chocolates on machine c and so on so this is the problem given to us uh, which you are supposed to solve by using hungarian method but as we have seen there are two basic criterias to be fulfilled in hungarian method first is matrix should be balanced and second it should be of minimization type so uh, is it balanced matrix no why because there are five rows and four columns so we have to balance it first how to balance it by adding one dummy column in this matrix so that it will become your 5 by 5 matrix so let's add one column that would be e a b c d so it would be e all the numbers would be 0 0 0 as we have seen already this is your dummy column now this matrix becomes 5 by 5 matrix okay so the matrix is balanced what is the second criteria matrix should be of minimization type of matrix is it no it is not why because of these numbers these numbers are indicating number of chocolates or production of number of chocolates so what do you do you always try to maximize the production right so it is of maximization type of problem and that is what we are going to see in this case balancing of matrix we have already seen before as well okay so how to convert this matrix into the minimization type of matrix pay attention this is the important part uh, find out the largest number in this matrix the largest number in this matrix is 11 as you can see 11 okay 11 is the largest number now you you are going to subtract all the numbers from 11 in this matrix and that would be your minimization type of problem so let's perform that operation which means that 11 minus 10 11 minus 5 and so on so you are going to subtract all the numbers from 11 to convert this maximization into the minimization so let's go for that step 10 11 minus 10 is 1 11 minus 5 Six, eleven minus seven, four, eleven minus eight, three, eleven minus zero, eleven, eleven minus eleven, zero, four minus uh, sorry, eleven minus four would be what? Seven, eleven minus nine, two, eleven minus ten, one, and then zero, eleven, eleven minus eight, three, eleven minus four. Seven, eleven minus nine, two, eleven minus seven, four, and eleven minus zero, eleven, eleven minus seven, four, eleven minus five, six, eleven minus six, five, eleven minus four, seven, and eleven minus zero, eleven. Last row, eleven minus eight, three. Eleven minus nine is two. Eleven minus seven, four. Eleven minus five is six. Yes, and eleven minus zero is eleven. Okay, so now this is your five by five matrix and minimization type of matrix. So you can directly start solving it by using our usual Hungarian method. We'll again speed up our process as we are familiar with Hungarian method now. So first type of Hungarian method is row subtraction then column subtraction okay so let's go for row subtraction what which is the smallest element in first row is 1 okay so 1 minus 1 is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 6 minus 1 is 5 4 minus 1 is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 11 minus 1 is 10 in second row 0 is there so you are going to subtract 0 from all the elements in that row so there won't be any any change in that row copy that row as it is 11 okay now in third row the smallest number is 2 3 minus 2 is 1 7 minus 2 is 5 2 minus 2 is 
फोर माइनस टू इज टू एंड इलेवन माइनस टू इज नाइन ओके नाउ इन फोर थ्रो दिस नॉलेज नंबर इज फोर फोर माइनस फोर इज जीरो सिक्स माइनस फोर इज टू फाइव माइनस फोर इज वन सेवन माइनस फोर इज थ्री इलेवन माइनस फोर इज सेवन एंड इन लास्ट रो द स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर इज टू थ्री माइनस टू इज वन टू माइनस टू इज जीरो फोर माइनस टू इज टू सिक्स माइनस टू इज फोर इलेवन माइनस टू इज नाइन सो दिस इज द रिजल्टेंट मैट्रिक्स आफ्टर रो सब्ट्रैक्शन नाउ लेट्स गो फॉर कॉलम सब्ट्रैक्शन In first column, there are uh, there is zero, so we are going to copy that column as it is. There won't be any change in that column, so let's copy it. All right. In second column, there is zero, so again we are going to copy that column. Five, seven, five, two, and zero. Okay. In third column, again there is zero, so copy that column. Comparatively, column subtraction is easy because somewhere you are going to find zero for sure. So somewhere the calculations will be reduced. One, two. Now in fourth column, uh, see the smallest number is one. So you are going to subtract one. Two minus one is one. One minus one is zero. Two minus one is one. Three minus one is two. And four minus one is three. Now in the last column, the smallest number is seven. Okay, so ten minus seven is three. Eleven minus seven is four. Nine minus seven is two. Seven minus seven zero. Nine minus seven two. Okay, so this is the resultant after row subtraction and column subtraction, which is known as reduced matrix. now what do you do you draw the minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros so let's start that process in first row 1 0 2 1 2 1 okay if you go column wise 3 1 1 1 1 so three zeros are there in particular column so you are going to cover that first now again let's go no zero 1 1 1 1 If you go column wise, one, 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 one. So if you notice here, you are you go any ways. You are going to require four number of lines, minimum four number of lines to cover these remaining zeros. To cover remaining zeros, okay. This line is already there. So let's go any ways, row wise or column wise. You are going to require in total five number of lines to cover all the zeros. So how many number of lines are required? Five number of lines. And what is the value of n? n is also 5 see we have seen here this is your 5 by 5 matrix so n is what 5 okay so when this is equal there lies your solution for sure now you just have to make the allocations okay so here lies your solution for sure i just forgot to draw one more matrix so what we'll do we'll make allocations in this matrix itself okay for better understanding i'll use another marker okay so in first row there is only one zero so you are going to make allocation there for sure all the zeros in that particular column would be crossed clear in second row again now there is only one zero why because this has been crossed so you are going to make allocation there there is no any zero in that column so no any cross in third row yes one zero is there so you are going to make allocation there no cross in fourth row there is one zero here so you are going to make allocation there no any cross and in last row there is one zero you are going to make allocation there so this is how the allocations are made we have already seen this for number of times so all these allocations you are going to uh, convert into the tabular format so let's tabulate the solution what is given to you operator machines and then number of chocolates operators 1 2 3 4 5 five operators now machine 1 a okay 2 d 3 c 4 e and 5 b okay so this is how the allocations are made now one more important part to remember while finding out these numbers you have to refer to the original matrix itself because that was of maximization type and here also the solution which you are going to get would be of maximization of max, like maximum number of chocolates 
to be produced that solution you are going to get here so you are not supposed to refer to this converted matrix you are going to refer to the original problem matrix which is given to us this one is the important part okay so 1a 1a would be 10 2d 2d is 10 3c is 9 4e is 0 because of dummy column 5b is 9 okay so these are the allocations now as i have told you wherever you have added dummy column or row there you are supposed to write down dummy or d in the bracket so e has been added dummyly so you are going to write down dummy and the final answer would be number of chocolates right number of chocolates how much 20 38 38 units or 38 numbers of chocolates can be produced in this particular given problem. Maximum 38 number of chocolates can be produced. So this is how the uh, maximization problem can be solved by using Hungarian method. It's very simple. Just convert it into the minimization problem. That is where the difference is. Other process is same. So how to convert that? Find out the maximum number in that matrix and subtract all the numbers from that maximum or largest number and then you will get the minimization type of problem then solve use uh, start using uh, solving it by using hungarian method so this is i hope the concept is clear i have written down one more example here for uh, your assignment for your homework you can say so just try solving it yourself i will uh, upload its solution in the description box i will just uh, for your reference i'll upload it uh, but see the example what is given articles four articles are given and three machines are given okay uh, and these numbers are indicating uh, units or production of that article which means that machine c can produce eight number of article one machine c can produce seven number of article two machine c can produce six number of article number three so, so this is uh, why I have given this as an assignment for you because it covers all the three special cases we have seen so far. First like unbalanced problem, then um, minimization and maximization converted from maximization to minimization problem and third case as well. So all the special cases are covered in this particular problem. Hence just try solving it yourself at home and uh, I'll upload its solution as well in the description box. Uh, so just keep watching in the next video we'll see uh, last case that is fourth special case of assignment problem thank you so much